go from there when it happens next time. Definitely. Uh, so we're, we're in 22. There's a lot of new new year's resolutions out there. Uh, fad diets versus real diets. What, you know, a lot of people will do these, uh, you know, 21 days of fasting or X, Y, or Z diet. Is there, do you have an opinion on the two or what, what's your I opinion? Opinion? I don't like fat diets. That's for damn sure. I've never in my entire life done a fad diet. Um, I think that they don't work. They're not realistic. And they, you know, if it's not practical for your lifestyle, you're not going to stick to it. Um, I, I eat so much food and so much worse than I think people think I do. <laughs> um, not necessarily that I eat bad at all, but I think if you look at me online, you're like, oh damn, she eats vegetables every day. She eats really healthy. Like literally right before this podcast, I had an entire thing of goldfish. Like that's just, I, I, I have to eat like a salad for lunch and then goldfish or something like it. I'm very in, in quotes balanced mm -hmm. and I don't really think about a diet necessarily. I just think about like how the food will nourish me and how it will make me feel. Um, I'm also a huge carb eater. I eat carbs constantly, uh, but you also have to take into consideration that I'm also very active. Like I don't have a desk job, so I'm always constantly moving. Yeah, when I was in college and then when I got my first job, I put on some weight, I'm, I'm still skinny, but I realized like, you know, you're walking to class, just the walking aspect of life that you kind of lose when you kind of go into a normal job. Yes. Uh, so now I'm, I have an Apple watch and I'm always trying to like, just get my steps in, try to walk when I can. I, I, that's the one part about New York City or when I lived in Madrid over school, you could walk everywhere that I really miss. Yeah, absolutely. I think like every little thing adds up too. People don't really realize how much like a 15 minute walk can do for you. Um, even if you're like sitting at your work desk right now to like do some arm toning moves or, you know, every little thing adds up. You could do some push ups on the kitchen counter when you're mm. waiting for your pasta to boil. Um, if you don't even have time for, you know, a 45 minute workout, just like two minutes here and there really can add up. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's a really against the fat diets and that's, that's just a lifestyle. Just a lifestyle of trying to be active. With that as well, I think the biggest thing that you can do for yourself is cooking at home. Um, mm -hmm. I think, you know, that's the easiest way to stay healthy is trying out new recipes um, and making yourself the food because you know exactly what you're putting into it. And you can actually fall in love with cooking. And I love cooking healthy for myself. It's like one of my passions. It's like how I meditate truly and how I uh, stay calm. And, you know, it's like one of my favorite things I look forward to. So if you are looking to like eat healthier, I would say cooking. Yeah, I, uh, I, would, I have a, a lot of Uber Eats. You know, it's easy because we do it with the team. But uh, recent, or since COVID, me and my girlfriend, we got into uh, cooking every night and uh, I'm, I'm the same way. I've really enjoyed it. Give, give me a recipe that, that you're enjoying right now. Ooh, that I'm enjoying. Um, I I don't know why this came to the top of my mind, but last night I did this idea where, um, you know, I hate cauliflower rice, right? I think real rice over cauliflower rice any day, yeah. but I, when I eat fried rice, I just eat so much of it and I want so much. It is fried I, rice. It's the best thing ever. So it's my favorite food. And so basically I mixed half real rice and half cauliflower rice. And you actually really couldn't tell that there was that much cauliflower rice in it. And then I did just like an egg. I did I like it. chicken in it, um, like, and like four different vegetables. So I did like, uh, I did carrots, peas, broccoli, and onion. Oh, and zucchini. So I love just doing like huge stir fry bowls. Um, and that's kind of how I cook. I kind of just throw everything that I have and with some sauces, I'm a huge sauce girl too. And then okay. ooh, get a meal. How, and do you count your calories or how do you monitor intake? Or is it just, you put it in and you, you eat? I it? see when I'm hungry and when I'm not, and I'm a very intuitive eater. And I know when I need more energy, more fuel, and I never have counted my calories really before. Um, even being a athlete in college, I will say, um, you know, it, it was hard because I was probably eating around like 4,000 calories a day when I was an athlete, which is mm -hmm. wild. Um, if I try to do that now, but I would say I definitely eat like less than that. And I had to really find a balance of w how much food intake due to how much working out, you know, it takes mm -hmm. a few years to really figure oh. that out, but, um, I'm not against counting calories. I mean, if you are trying to lose weight, it's not the worst thing you can do because you know, calories in calories out. It's like actually does really matter with weight loss. So at the same time, it doesn't work for me. Yeah. I, I find it hard to count calories because I'm just, I just eat when I'm hungry and I, and I really love eating too.
Food is my passion. If I counted calories, I would take the love out of eating.